Hey guys, Brendan from TAP. And today I just want to show you a common fault on the Toyota Hilux 1KD. So we've got our common 1KD Hilux here. And um, at our workshop, at every hoist, we've got a computer set up. And I'd recommend, you know, if you can get at least a laptop or a, a tablet or anything to, to have it at each hoist, it makes it a lot easier. And I just want to show you how quick and easy this was um, through TAT. So basically we had a, a fault code in this one. Um, I make it part of my diagnostic process now that if we've got a fault code, you know, we may as well put it in here and just see if we get lucky, basically. So in this case, it's a P2588. Now by putting it in that search bar, it's going to search all of TAT, so any uh, repair solutions, any technical assistance, any magazine articles, anything like that. So if we come down, we've already got a few hits, you know, so this Toyota Hilux, there's parts on the site where that fault code's been mentioned. Two technical assistants where um, we've helped members out and members have helped members to um, get to the bottom of it and also a repair solution that's been logged up there. So if we take a look at those, the first technical assistance for this uh, P2588, um, which should stay down here is turbocharger boost control position sensor B circuit low uh, we can go you can read through that and get into um, how they um, approach the fault the diagnostic process and what they came to another one here where we had another um, member asking for help and they got to the end of it as well and then it's been put in as a repair solution so the, the common fault on these is the the wiring loom where it runs down underneath the sump there and so it can rub through on that um, wire for the boost control sensor and um, that's how you get that fault there so it's um it's shorting to ground so very easy just by putting in something like that um, you can see the the power of, of what you can get from tat so make it part of your diagnostic um, pathway guys, getting onto that search function there. You can drill down through the repair solutions and technical assistance and, and try and um, dig through stuff, but there's that much data in there now. I quite prefer using the search function, just putting in that fault code, um, putting in a, a specific model and it'll go through, look at absolutely everything through our magazine articles, our repair solutions and find anything on the subject. Um, so got me to the bottom of this one very quickly. Um, if, you, if you're not a member, it might be time. You might want to join the 3,500 um, professional mechanics that are, are utilising this and saving time. Um, just head to www.tat.net.au. Thanks, guys.